Hi Beetle people, welcome back to A Beetle Full Life. So last week's video, as you know, was my Beetles room tour for 2021. So this week's video is going to be kind of an extension of that. I'm going to be trying to pick my 10 favorite items from my Beetles collection. Um, so hypothetically, if I can only keep 10 things, what would they be? So let's get started. Now I'm going to keep this video to Beatles items only because the amount with the amount of like Paul McCartney items that I have that would probably be a whole separate video. And I just want to quickly clarify that I'm going to be talking about my 10 favorite merchandise items. You know things like CDs and vinyl that's a given that I would be keeping those obviously. This was very difficult by the way but I tried to get a good solid list of 10 items. The first thing would be the shirt that I'm wearing. Uh, this is from the Fest for Beatles fans online store and it's the this Apple logo shirt. And it's just a very nice staple item to let people know that you're a Beatles fan. But it was a toss up between this shirt and this one from the official Beatles online store. This is from the uh, Valentine's Day collection that they had last year. And you can see it's Beatles in a heart. And then on the sleeves, it says real love. Next would be this is in no particular order, by the way. It was hard enough to pick 10 items, let alone rank them. But next would be this portrait of the early Beatles. Uh, my next door neighbor gave this to me. She knows that I'm a Beatles fan. And this is a portrait from the 60s. This is definitely one of my favorite items. Generally, uh, if you ask me, do you prefer early Beatles or late Beatles? I would say early Beatles. So like the red versus the blue album, I would pick the red one. The next item would be my Beatles purse. Um, I got this as a gift, but I'm pretty sure it's from a website uh, called Poshmark that my mom got it from. And you can see it's them on stage. And I do use this as my, as my purse, usually every time I leave the house. Next would be another cool piece of memorabilia, my Cavern Club brick. This is an authentic brick from the original Cavern Club, and it did come with a certificate of authenticity. Um, so I obviously am keeping it in the plastic. But this was a very cool gift that I got. Now this item is kind of a little bit cheating on what I said earlier because it's like a combination Beatles and Paul McCartney item. But this is my denim jacket. And I'll show you the front and back. So on the front is this patch. It says Beatles 67. It's from Target. And then a rubber sole pin that was sent to me by a subscriber of mine. This side we have the Paul McCartney Egypt Station pins. That were available on his website um, I think right around the time that the album came out. There's a for you pin come on to me and then it says Paul McCartney and Egypt Station and then here is a Beatles logo pin and a Sgt. Pepper album cover pin and then on the back we have a bunch of patches so I'll, I'll just go uh, one by one on each of these. This is also from Target and it came in a set with a couple other patches. This Hard Day's Night one is from eBay. And then a Sgt. Pepper drum patch that was also from Target. And then a Freshen Up Tour 2018 patch. I got this in a set from uh, Paul's website. And then this Paul patch in the middle here. And then, and then the uh, rest are actually Paul. There's another Freshen Up Tour patch here. And then a Ram patch. And then a wings patch over here and those were all part of the same set uh, from his website so yeah this is definitely another favorite item of mine and then next would be my rubber sole pillow um, I, it was hard to pick between the beatles pillows that i have it was a toss-up between this one and the one back there but i picked this one because rubber soul is my favorite beatles album uh, i got this from a website called wish.com Next would be something else from the 60s, this tray here. Um, I got this as a gift and it's definitely one of my favorite items, not only of the 60s memorabilia that I have, but of all items um, altogether. There are some stars and music notes around the edges here. And then early Beatles portraits, uh, very similar to the black and white ones that I showed earlier. And then the back is red. Next would actually be this hat that I recently got. Um, from the Beatles online store and as you could tell I really like to wear Beatles themed uh, accessories and clothes. Um, this is a winter hat with the Beatles logo on the front and a pom-pom on top 
And it's a nice knit hat. It's well made. Let me put it on. Here it is on. I have to crouch down a little so you can see the pom pom. But here it is. Next up would be my Lego Yellow Submarine. Uh, this is just a really cute display piece, and I had a lot of fun building this uh, when I got it for Christmas. And I have the little Lego beetles also. The only thing with these is that these little pieces tend to fall out of their hands quite easily, um, so I have to be very careful in handling these. But this is a very cute set. And then lastly, I'm going to have to back up to show this one, but this is my a Hard Day's Night Blanket, and this is one of the first Beatles items that I ever got, I think actually back in 2009. So I guess you could see that's when I started building my Beatles collection, so let me back up so you could see it. So I really love the colors in this blanket, and I, it's very it's still very soft, and I definitely think it's a favorite item of mine. So that concludes my 10 favorite items from my Beatles collection. As I, as I said, this was a pretty difficult decision and I realized I didn't even include any of my DVDs in here, so it was hard to pick 10 items, but um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Before I uh, conclude the video, I just want to talk about something cool I found out yesterday. So there is a uh, Beatles news magazine, it's called Beatle Fan Magazine, and they recently did an article about Beatles YouTube channels. It was called Hard Days Net. And um, I was actually one of the channels mentioned in that article. They just talked a little bit about uh, the kind of videos I make and how I'm keeping Beatlemania alive, you know, for a younger generation. And the other channels mentioned in that article were Beatle Brad, Mean Mr. Mayo, Matthew Street, and Andrew Dixon. I have a picture of the full article. It would be too hard to read if tried to put it in this video because the print would be too small, but I could send it via email if anyone wants it, just uh, send an email to the address that I have in the description and I will send that out to you. But thank you very much to Beetle Fan Magazine for including me in that article. I do appreciate that. All right, Beetle people, so that is going to do it for today's video. I want to say thank you very much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. I will leave my blog and social media linked down below so you can check those out if you'd like. And as always, have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye.